The difference between us and the Bushmen, they have learned to adapt to the environment. We adapt the environment to us. And in that process, we destroy the whole thing. They live with nature, they don't own nature. We want to own everything because it's just the normal Western way of life, the unfortunate Western way of life. Last night we had the opportunity to talk to one of the most knowledgeable people about plants in this area that I think exists on the planet. He's a 23-year-old guy who has found and identified dozens of species of new plants, spiders and other insect life. It's just remarkable his passion for the desert. Wow. And now when this rains here, yeah, this will become a carpet of flowers. Underneath the soil lies dormant as like seeds and then they germinate as soon as they get a bit of water. It's unbelievable because this grass on this when it gets a bit of rain is like nothing else. This is why I love the Rotisfeld so much, is how well it's adapted. There are plants and animal species in the Richtersfeld that have adapted to survival in extremely harsh conditions. It's the oldest desert in the world. And so life had a long time to adapt. We've got some of the oldest mountains that's still standing on the crust of the earth. And then we've got the Orange River running through this desert area. I did not understand really how water scarcity is affecting so many countries all over the world. Unfortunately, because of over utilization of the river, for farming and cities and all of this. This river that used to be the biggest river in South Africa has been uh, minimized four to five times um, what it should be. We're at Sendling's Drift um, and yeah. the river is so low that the ponds can't run. They've tried. We are, I'm sitting on the ferry as we speak. We really seriously try to help you guys. Can we walk across? <laughs> then you must leave the vehicle here. If you look at the top, it was one meter beneath the clippers. Right, that was in 2011. And in six years, it has gone down maybe one, six meters. It can be anything from three meters to six meters, but it's just going down. Have so you ever seen the water this low? No, never in my life. And I think it's going to dry up. I'm absolutely sure before the end of this, this month. We don't think that if we continue to use these rivers the way we are, they're just going to get lower and lower to the point where we can't use them anymore. And I'm not prepared to stand by and see problems and assume someone else can take care of it. Just being here has been the most remarkable symphony of experiences learning about plants and animals that somehow figure out a way to live here. Because at some point, if our water crisis continues the way it is, we will also have to adapt to living in these extreme environments. And these plants and animals have set the bar. Now, we need to be prepared that we might have to follow. In order to be part of the solution, we need to make daily changes to our behaviour. And the first part about that is to be a conscious consumer. Our biggest problem is we don't include ourselves in nature. We exclude ourselves as something different from nature and we are not, we are part of nature. And, and it's, it's, that is the loss of us as humans. We're missing out the joy of what it should be to live on Earth.